surprised to watch the first episode and thought it was really um, fun and heartfelt and something a little bit different. Um, so why don't you both start off and tell us a little bit about your characters uh, in the series. Um, Christina, why don't we start with you? Sure. Um, my character, Drea, is a single mom with five brothers who she basically lives with, even though they all have their own places and their own lives. Um, they're over every day. And she feels just as responsible for them, I think, as she did when they were 12 years old and their parents weren't really around. Um, and then she has this son who, you know, again, she's a single mom, dad left when he was young. And you see her just doing everything she can to make sure that he lacks nothing. Um, she loves him, she supports him, she thinks the world of him. And she's always trying to ride this fine line of being there, being supportive, um, and also kind of giving him that room to grow and to change um, and to discover who he is. Yeah. Now, Ignacio, you have a, an interesting situation where you've got all these uncles around you. <laughs> kind of not the typical situation of the single, uh, the child of a single mom with, with all these men around. Um, talk a little bit about his circumstance and how he feels about it. Rafa? Uh, well, he describes it, uh, I mean, in the first episode, the one you watched uh, as being in a cloud of bees, you know, <laughs> and like feeling like, like really the amount of uncles is tenfold. <laughs> um, in terms of how he feels about it, um, yeah, I think he feels a little disoriented and inundated like with so much advice coming from so many different different directions. But also in that same episode you watched, like Uncle Roly makes a really great point about, well, essentially what this means is that you're in a house full of people that care about you, uh, people that love you. And, and I think the episode sort of ends on that note, like of, of that realization of, oh, that is what, you know, that is essentially what this cloud of bees is. It's my, you know, it's my net, it's my support, it's my base, it's my foundation. It's, um, and it's actually, not everyone has it, you know, so. Yeah, no, that's for sure. I mean, talk, for both of you, talk a little bit about this idea of, of, how the show talks about family and maybe it's a little bit of a different kind of family this in this circumstance, but you know, a lot of, you know, probably maybe most kids grow up in, in single parent homes these days. Um, talk a little bit about, um, you know, what, what the show has to say about uh, family and, and kind of, it takes a village to raise this kid. Man. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think part of what the show has to say about family is just really, at least in my experience, like a universal truth, which is that love, we don't always know how to express our love for each other in the, the most useful of ways or the best of ways, but, but that, uh, that's a, but that is what is just inherently in all of the chaos, you know, even in the fighting, in the, in the arguing, in the, in the punching each other, tackling each other, pulling pranks on each other, uh, the bickering, that's all an expression, I think, mm -hmm. of the love that they all have for each other. And, and, I think it's the kind of love where and I think you can pick any character from the show from the family and every single one of them would literally you know like take a bullet for any other family member in the show mm -hmm. I think that's the kind of love like that this family has um Yeah, Christina, I mean your your character is in kind of an interesting position because you know, as a lot of single moms, she's a little bit financially stressed and, mm -hmm. but she would really do anything for her son. Yes. Um, I think it shows that 
a family is about leaning on each other. Family is about learning how to be there for each other, love each other, but put certain boundaries in place that are necessary. I feel like Dre is always trying to find that line with her brothers um, and with her son because she wants to shield him from the things that, you know, are maybe not so good for him to pick up on while also encouraging him to embrace his roots and to take advantage of like the, the people that he, that love him and care about him and would do anything for him. Mm. So, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, for both of you, did you have a, a favorite scene this season to shoot? Actually, okay, so I, I don't know if this is all time favorite, but but this popped into my head. Uh, this popped in my head uh, right when you said that there was a scene over the there were at least for me, there were several stages of the audition process and in each of those stages, the scenes for the audition would would change. Um, and I think my final callback or screen test or whatever, there was a scene with Drea, um, where Rafa has uh, sort of a list of questions about sex. <laughs> uh, because the uncles have all told him like a bunch of different things. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he wants to, and he wants to, he wants to run these by Drea because he knows like, he knows that these guys, these have to be verified. And what I didn't know when I showed up on set was that scene was written just for the purposes of the audition. It was just written as the audition scene. And then I, I don't know if Christina also had to do that scene in her audition, but I guess they liked the scene enough that they put it in the show. Oh, cool. Most of the scenes I auditioned with were like early in the season. So we shot them early. That scene is late, like at least for production purposes was a lot later. So it was like the last scene that I had auditioned with that we that we shot. And I just like, I was really, really excited for it. Mm. And this is a testament to, to Christina. Uh, we shot that. And I guess because I had so much anticipation for it and was so excited for it, it went by like very quickly. Like we shot it and it was like the last thing we did that day and they were ready to move on. And I was like, oh, you know, I was like kind of disappointed. I like wanted to do it again. And I, and I, Christina took note and immediately just to the whole crew, uh, because Christina can do this, <laughs> uh, was like, oh, I'm sorry. I, I need another one. Let's, can we go again? I'm sorry, guys. Sorry. I need another one. And it was a hundred percent for me, you know? Uh, so, th but that, that's a scene that I, that I really love. And I think that's a cold open in, in a later episode, uh, in the season is that sex talk with Drea. That's so funny because that was going to be one of my choices for my favorite scenes. Yeah. Uh, and just so you know, there was a little bit of me wanting another one too. That was not just for you. Um, I always want another opportunity to, to do it again. Um, and so, but I would say that scene and then the, um, Gosh, the game champ scenes were just so much fun. Yeah, yeah, I think those I think those are the two. Well, no, I'm sorry, I'm lying. Yeah. No. It's the scene with you and me um that you mentioned with the sex talk. Mm -hmm. And then it's the one where I get to cuss everybody out. That was oh, so yeah. much fun <laughs> to do. That was that was like therapy it was so so good i don't think you can hear a lot of or most what she's saying in this in the show but that's a monologue that was written in like only by shay and it is i mean it's on <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun yeah it was fun to do yeah yeah christina and ignacio thank you so much for taking time to talk to us we hope that everyone thanks eric gets a chance to see the show. Thank you, Eric. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, 
we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.